This interview features Will and George, filmmakers at Mountain Way Pictures, Olivia Durkin, head of training in theatre at Stage Text, and Dan Ruddick, an architect with DMFK. While each person chats to IRL, different aspects of their work are shown. At the Steam Hub, a robotic arm projects the computer-generated smiley face of IRL. I'm IRL, an artificial intelligence created to find out information about Steam careers. Join me in interviewing professionals to explore their work. Sector Summary Arts Loading Were you required to study or train for a qualification? There's no formal qualification or even a real career pathway to becoming a filmmaker. Uh, You can go to film school if you want to, but you absolutely don't have to. You can do apprenticeships, there are NVQ courses, or you can just pick up a camera and start making stuff. I started off by doing a degree in sociology and social policy, which has turned out to be really useful in understanding policies around deafness in my current role. In terms of how I actually came to this one, I am deaf in my left ear. And when I left university, I started working for a theatre uh, production company that did interactive theatre. So it really married my two loves very much to come into a job where not only was I helping deaf people access the theatre, but I was also able to go to a lot of theatre myself. After doing my GCSEs, I went to university. You sort of explore your creativity and learn the basics of how buildings stand up, all of the different roles in the built environment, how you work with an engineer, how you work with uh, interior designers. As you progress through the different um, stages of study, you get in more into more detail about the technical aspects, making sure that the building stands up, making sure that it's watertight, making sure that it doesn't burn down. There's a lot of different aspects to it and um, you need to be really kind of uh, trained in lots of different areas. Finding arts careers are very varied and can require qualifications and training. Do your research. How does science, technology, engineering or maths play a role in your work? You can take an artistic route and be particularly creative or free thinking, or you can take a route where you're more involved in delivering a project. You're in within the sort of the engineering and the mathematics of how things work. We need to know a bit about physics, to know about how lenses on cameras and lighting setups work. We need to know about acoustics for sound and how to treat sound in post-production. We use maths on things like colour grading, which is when you change the colour of a video after filming it, or visual effects, you know, when you create something to be seen on screen completely from scratch. We rely on technology to make sure that all of our work is fully accessible. We use caption units every day, we rig them in theatres and we link them to our captioner's laptop. The captioner also uses technology to ensure that they're making it the most accessible form of the text possible. So when we are outputting in theatres, it is going out as the actors are talking. Finding STEAM skills are used throughout arts careers, often in surprising ways. Summary complete. Sutton Steams Ahead is a project funded by a Cultural Impact Award as part of the Mayor of London's London Borough of Culture Programme and the National Lottery Heritage Fund.